use of PSC 101 for cloning. Although uh, the cloning with PSC 101 it is not so advantageous as we have discussed because the selection of transformants it is not easy on the basis of tetracycline resistance. But still this plasmid PSC 101 has been used to clone some genes from the plasmid of other organism like P1258 and this plasmid it is present in gram positive cocci like Staphylococcus. So genes from Staphylococcus plasmid it can be cloned in PSC101 and then can be expressed in E. coli. Plasmid P1258 it contains several determinants or traits that can be expressed in the recipient cells. These traits include like ampicillin resistance, erythromycin resistance and resistance to certain heavy metals. Uh, isme uh, mercury aa jati hai aur cadmium aa jati hai. To ye sare traits jo hain ye staphylococcus ke plasmid pe hote hain. Aur jab hum staphylococcus plasmid ko jo ki P1258 hai isko digest karte hain EQR1 se to iske char fragments ban jate hain. That can be separated on agarose gel electrophoresis. So the plasmid DNA from PSC101, it can be digested with EQR1 restriction enzyme. And similarly, the plasmid of Staphylococcus, it can also be fragmented by using EQR1. When they are ligated together, then the transformants can be screened for the presence of antibiotic resistance genes that is tetracycline from PSC 101 and ampicillin from P1258. How it is possible? This diagram it showed the cloning of Staphylococcus aureus genes that contained on plasmid 1258, P1258 and it contain different type of selectable markers like ampicillin, erythromycin, gene for mercury resistance and cadmium. Whereas on PSC101 the resistance it is for tetracycline, here it is T, the resistance it is for tetracycline. So both they can be digested with EQR1. So in this case of P1258 four fragments are produced and only one linear fragment for PSC101. Then they can be ligated with the help of DNA ligase. Here they are ligated and then they are screened for the presence of antibiotics. Like after introducing ligated DNA into E. coli then they can be screened for the presence of ampicillin, ampicillin and ampicillin. So in some cases there will be no ampicillin resistance and where ampicillin resistance present here the transformants they are further screened for tetracycline so that the genes from Staphylococcus auris plasmid for example ampicillin resistance it can be combined with tetracycline resistance from PSC11. So this is one of the example of the cloning of genes from other plasmids into PSC 101.